Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to do my week three budget check-in. So as always, I have my March budget here, and this is kind of where I did my do my check-in. And then here is where I actually track our expenses. So if you're not new, then you already know a lot of that. Um, this week has been very uneventful because we have been sick and we really haven't been doing much. So as you can see, the last um, thing that we have um, recorded was from the 12th and we've had four transactions and they're all food related. So it's going to be a very uneventful check-in, but that's also good. So the first thing that we always check is groceries and um, if you see last time, we had $201.49 remaining. So let's just quickly add up what we have for these four items there, and then we can go from there. So we had Jewel for $23.11. We had Target for $15.28. We had another Target for $17.36 and then an other for 26.82. I'm sorry guys, my tripod wants to move around a little bit today. Um and then I said the other was 26.82. So, that brings us to $82.57 that we spent and I'm just going to quickly mark these so I know that I recorded them. So like I said, we have spent $82.57. Okay, so like I was saying, we spent $82.57 on groceries this week. And since we had a remaining of 201.49, that oops, sorry about that. Since we had 201.49, that means we have a hundred and eighteen dollars and ninety-two cents for the last week of the month. So I've said this many times before, but for those of you who are new, Jason and I usually go grocery shopping on Sundays. And so when I do our grocery budget, I always count how many Sundays we have of that month. So obviously we have one, two, three, four. And since I give us $100 per week, that means our budget was $400. So on months that there are five weeks, we have $500 and you know, all of that. So, considering that we normally are supposed to have $100 per week, we're doing really well. Compared to a lot of months, this is really good. So, I'm really happy with that. Um, our gas, we have, not, we have not bought any gas for this week. And we probably won't because both tanks are probably around half. So, I'm assuming next week we will. But for now... We are good, so that means we have $64.15 remaining still. $64.15. Then some of our cash clips I like to track. So the first one is our eating out, and I can tell you we did use quite a bit of this because we were sick and we were just getting food instead of making it. So let's see what we have remaining. So we have 50, 65, 6, 7, 67 dollars. So we had 105 minus 67, which means we spent 38 dollars. And we have two more weekends of the month, so we will have $33 per week 
for eating out. So that's pretty doable, especially since we only spent 38 um, last week. So hopefully we're good with that. And then for household, really don't think we spent much for this. Um, looks like we have $11. So we spent $1. And honestly, I probably just pulled that because I needed it for like quarters for sodas at work or something. But a um, dollar and we have 11 remaining. And you guys already saw on our monthly view, but we had no un unbudgeted items because we only had those four. So that's kind of nice to put that as zero. So you can tell we're doing really well this month so far, and I'm hoping that it continues. I think last week I mentioned that there was a clothing resale that I might purchase some items for Macy. That ended up being a huge bust. Um, they did not have much at all. It was a pretty bad resale actually, so I'm a little bummed about it. But like I said, Macy already has quite a bit of stuff, and there's always holidays and stuff where people buy her stuff, so I'm not worried about clothes for her. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out, because I haven't already, and it's part of our budget, is this piece here about Florida. So, um, for those of you who do not know, um, Jason, Macy, and I went to Florida for about, about a week. We left Thursday, we came back like Tuesday night, and we went there for my sister's wedding. So, um, not including our flight and everything like that. We spent about $821.92 and that includes a rental car, that included a very expensive babysitter for my sister's wedding, um, that included some extra luggage car costs because we decided to check bags. Um, it also includes food, some like bathing suits and random stuff like that. So compared to our budget, that's not something that I'm gonna track here but I just figured I'd point it out. For our budget, we budgeted $800. So we are only $20 over, which is insane. Um, so I'm really, really glad with that. And I think we are going to do a really good job this month, especially because this month um, I did get a bonus for work. This is also going to be the first month that I am going to be putting some of my extra like YouTube money into our account because I um, want to start getting ready to pay off my student loans. So this is going to be a really good month for us, I believe. Um, and I'm excited to kind of see it come to an end and move on to March um, or move into April. April is a really exciting time for us because I actually started this whole process. I started budgeting um, for our family last April using Erin Condren, using paper and stickers, and it's crazy how much we've learned, it's crazy how much we've saved, all of that in just one short year. So I'm excited to see where we are in another year because I'm sure it's going to be like drastically different. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys had a great week as well budget-wise. Um, if you want to share some successes or um, you know, some unfortunate events, leave them down below. I would love to um, celebrate some good stuff with you guys. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.